not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamat astrology in today's video i am going to talk about the subject of happiness all through our life we struggle on different aspects like to gain education to gain knowledge then to make a family to provide for our family and our kids and to earn wealth but the ultimate purpose behind doing all the activities is eventually to earn happiness why do you want your kids to come first in class or why do you want them to do very well in their studies the ultimate reasoning behind that could be that you want to see them happy in their life you want to see them being happy in future so the end goal or the end reasoning for all activities is to attain happiness in life if you are happy then you have attained everything in life so our scriptures say that there is a goddess who is responsible for happiness and this goddess is known as santoshi mata so in this video i am going to tell you the story of origin of santoshi mata and the vrat katha of santoshi mata if you do this vrat for 16 fridays then it is believed that this path leads one to happiness all poverty illness legal problems disputes automatically get resolved by the grace of the goddess now coming to the astrological aspect if in your chart venus is afflicted by a malefic planet such as rahu ketu mars or saturn then the level of happiness in your life will be less similarly if the fourth house from the ascendant or the sign of cancer or kark in your horoscope is afflicted has malefic planets such as saturn rahu ketu or mars again it will have an impact on your happiness so if you do the santoshi mata vrat for 16 fridays it will negate or reduce the bad impact of such planets which cause a reduction in your happiness or an increase in your problems so now let me tell you the story of origin of santoshi mata so as we know lord ganesha has two wives riddhi and siddhi now ganesha is the god of wisdom and it is logical that riddhi that is progress and siddhi that is achievement are his consorts so wisdom eventually gives you progress in life as well as it gives you certain level of achievement in life hence the wives of ganesha are riddhi and siddhi similarly the sons of ganesha are known as shubh and labh now shubh is nothing but auspiciousness and labh is nothing but gain so from your wisdom you attain some progress in life you achieve certain things and in the process you attain auspiciousness and you also make gains now once during the festival of rakshabandhan lord ganesha's sister known as manasa visited him and tied a rakhi to his arm now both his children shubh and labh were watching this they saw that after manasa tied the rakhi to their father's arm the father gave certain gifts to his sister that is to goddess manasa and therefore shubh and labh 
started insisting with Lord Ganesha that they want a sister. He told Lord Ganesha that just like you gave a gift to your sister, we will also give a gift to our sister. Ganesha now decided to fulfill this desire of his children and from his forehead emanated a blue light that merged with the light emerging from the foreheads of Riddhi and Siddhi. And from that light, a goddess was born who was known as Santoshi Mata. So Santoshi Mata is none other than the daughter of Lord Ganesha. And once she was born, Lab and Shubh got the Rakhi tied from her and they gifted her Jaggery and Chickpeas. Now this is logical because children usually gift each other sweets and at that time Jaggery as well as Chickpeas were kind of sweets. Now the goddess received these sweets that is the Jaggery and Chickpeas and she was very happy. She did not demand anything more from them. And therefore, Lord Ganesha named her as Santoshi. Santoshi means one who is content, one who is happy. And thereon, she is the goddess of happiness and contentment in life. By praying to this goddess and doing her vrat for 16 Fridays, all kinds of poverty, diseases, legal problems, challenges, are said to be removed from your life. Now, there is a Vrat Katha or story associated with the worship of this goddess. And next, I will narrate this story. Now, long time ago, there was an old woman who had seven sons. Out of the seven sons, six were working sons. And one son did not have any job. He was unemployed. But all these seven sons were married. So the woman also had seven daughter-in-laws. Now every day this woman would give the best kind of food to six of her sons who were working. And to the seventh son who was unemployed, she would always give the leftovers from the food of the six sons. However, this youngest seventh son was so innocent that he really thought that his mother loved him the most and therefore she fed him last. So one day this seventh son went and told his wife that see how much my mother loves me. She feeds me the last every day. His wife said, really? But do you know she feeds you leftover food? The son said, I don't believe you. Then she said, see with your own eyes. So the son that day pretended to be ill. He went and slept in the kitchen and he covered himself with a blanket. However, the blanket was a little transparent so he could see what his mother was doing in the kitchen. He saw that when his six brothers came, she gave them the best types of foods. And once they had food, she would pick the leftovers from their plate and make laddus or some kind of other food from those leftovers. And then she called out to him and said that food is ready. Why don't you have food now? The seventh son had now seen the true face of his mother. He realized that his mother really does not love him so much, as much as she loves the other six brothers. So he decided that he would no longer stay there. He told his mother that today I am not feeling hungry. I have decided to go to a foreign place. The mother said, if you are going tomorrow, please go today itself because she wanted to get rid of him. The son agreed and he decided to leave that very day. 
On his way out, he met his wife who was preparing cow dung in the cow shed. And he told her that I am planning to go for a very long time to a foreign place so that I get a job and I earn a lot of wealth. Now his wife was really happy to see that her husband has decided to do something with his own effort. So she encouraged him to go. But she said, please give me something so that I will keep remembering you. The husband said, I don't have anything but this ring and he gave her his ring. He also asked her to give him something so that he will also keep remembering her. But his wife said, I have nothing. My hands are filled with cow dung. So she just placed the hand with cow dung on his back and told him to go work hard and come back later. So the seventh son now went his way. He landed in a faraway city and there he saw a money lender shop. He decided to ask the money lender for a job. The money lender was short of staff and therefore he agreed to employ him to do some work related to accounting, selling of goods and some other things. When he asked how much the money lender would pay him, the money lender said, I will see your work, then judge and pay you. To which he agreed. Now the seventh son used to work very hard every day from 9 a.m. to almost 9 p.m. at night. So he was working almost 12 hours a day. And he learned the skills of the trade very fast. And the moneylender was very much impressed with this and he eventually decided to make him a 50% partner in his business. And after that, the seventh son started gaining a lot of wealth, making a lot of profits. But he would be busy with his work the whole day. The moneylender was also very happy and he decided to give his business to him and retire for good. So now this man kept on making more and more money, more and more profits and soon he became a well-known businessman. However, on the other side, his wife was now not being well treated by her mother-in-law and her sister-in-laws. Her mother-in-law would force her to go to the forest to cut wood, to sell that wood and to bring money to the house. And in return, she would feed her stale chapatis and rotis and water in a broken coconut shell. So the seventh son's wife was very much distressed. She was under trouble because of her mother-in-law and the other sister-in-laws there. One day after cutting the wood in the forest and returning back home, on the way she saw some women praying in a temple. Out of curiosity, she stopped there and she inquired what those women were doing there. The women told her that they were praying to Goddess Santoshi who is the goddess of happiness and praying to this goddess and doing her vrat removes all kinds of poverty, all kinds of challenges, legal issues, hurdles, problems in life and makes one happy. They also told her that if someone's husband is away from her, then by praying to goddess Santoshi, she would get closer to that husband and also be blessed with a child by the grace of the goddess. Now, the seventh son wife was overjoyed on hearing this. She asked them to explain her how to do the vrat. They told her that initially you buy some jaggery and chana or yellow gram from the market 
and pray to the goddess sincerely every friday by gifting her these two items they also told her that on this friday when you are gifting the goddess these items on that day you should not eat any sour item the seventh son's wife immediately sold all the wood got some money by selling that wood and she purchased some jaggery and yellow gram with that money and she started praying to goddess santoshi as the women had told her within a few days goddess santoshi was pleased with her and the very next day she got a letter from her husband and in the coming week she got some money from her husband also her mother in law and sister in law started taunting her saying that now that letters are coming money is coming you will very soon become a very rich lady and so on so forth they started making fun of her the woman distressed went back to goddess santoshi in the temple and told the goddess mother i do not desire money i just want to see my husband the goddess told her that definitely i will fulfill your wish but now the goddess had a dilemma because the seventh son had completely forgotten about his wife he was so busy with his work that he hardly remembered his wife so that day the goddess appeared to him in his dream and told him to return back home because his wife was being troubled by his mother and also by the wives of his brothers the seventh son said mother what you say may be true but i am so busy with my work that how will i return back there is so much to do goddess santoshi told him don't worry tomorrow morning when you get up have a bath take my name light a ghee diya and then go to your shop and you will find that all your problems will be solved he did as the mother told him and when he went to his shop he was surprised that borrowers were returning money and lenders were also purchasing the goods so he had a lot of cash by the end of the day and he made a very huge profit so now no longer did he have much pending work and the money which he had earned was sufficient for several months so he decided to return back home at the same time the seventh son's wife was in the santoshi mata temple and that day she saw a gust of wind blowing she asked the goddess why is this wind blowing the goddess said daughter your husband is returning back home now do as i tell you you have a bundle of wood on your head cut it into three parts place one part of that near the banks of the river place the second part in my temple and a third portion of the wood you carry on your head go back home and call out loudly to your mother in law and say oh mother in law i have come i have brought the wood now please give me the stale roti and some water in the broken coconut shell to quench my thirst now goddess santoshi told her to do so because at that time her husband would be inside the house and he would realize how his mother was treating his wife so she did exactly what the goddess had told her and when her husband was inside and he heard this he understood how his mother was actually treating his wife he told his mother give me the keys to the other house and i will go and live there with my wife his mother took the bunch of keys threw it on the floor 
and told him that if you wish so, go and live in the other house with your wife. So he decided to go and live in that house with his wife. But the minute they entered that house, within a few days, lot of riches came, lot of wealth came and the house suddenly transformed into a palace. Now the seventh son wife said that, now that my wish is fulfilled, I need to do the Udyapan of the Vrat. In Santoshi Mata's Vrat, once your wish is fulfilled, there is something called as Udyapan. Which means, she has to feed eight children with jaggery, sweets, chana or chickpeas, kheer and a special type of sweet called khaja. So the next logical thought was that, I will call the children of my sister-in-laws. So she decided to invite the eight sons of her sister-in-laws. But her sister-in-laws were very bad. They did not want her to complete the vrat. So they told their sons that when you go to her, you first have everything and then ask her to give you something sore to eat because they knew that if the children eat something sore, then the vrat will get destroyed because Santoshi Mata does not like sore things. So after having all the sweet things, the children told her that give us something sore. We are not feeling good by having this kheer. But she said, this is Santoshi Mata's breath, so I cannot give you sore items. So the children said, no problem, you give us some money. And what they did is, with that money, they bought sore items and ate them. Now in a way, this destroyed her breath. The goddess got angry. And the very next day, the king's men came and took away her husband with them. Now the lady started crying. She went back to Santoshi Mata and said, Mother, what have you done? My husband has been taken away by the king's soldiers. When will he return back to me? The mother said, You did not do my vrat properly. The children ate sore items. She said, I did not intend to do that. I just gave them money and I never knew they would buy sore items. But she said, I will repeat the Udyapan again and this time I will make sure I don't make any mistake. The goddess then told her, go back and on the way your husband will return back. And as the goddess told her husband returned back, she asked why the king's men had taken him away. The husband told her that the king's men took me away because they realized that I had earned a lot of wealth and the king wanted me to pay tax on that wealth which I agreed to and now that I have paid the tax, the king is happy and will allow me to live here. So she tried to do the Udyapan for the second time. This time also she invited her sister-in-law's children. But they again started asking for sore items. This time she said, I will not give you any sore items nor money. And she sent them back. Instead, she got the kids of a few Brahmins. And she gave them jaggery, gram, kheer, khaja and other sweets. And some fruits as a donation. Goddess Santoshi was pleased with this. And she blessed her. And thereon, she and her husband started living happily and within nine months, a son was born to them. And as this son grew up, every day, she and the son used to visit Santoshi Mata's temple. Now the goddess saw that this woman and her son comes to my temple every day. I must go and see how her mother-in-law and her sister-in-laws are. So the goddess took a ferocious form. She looked very filthy. She had covered her mouth with jaggery and yellow gram and flies were hovering around her mouth 
and with that appearance she entered into the house of the mother in laws and the sister in laws seeing her in that form the mother in law and the sister in laws did not recognize the goddess they said some dangerous lady has come and she must be thrown out of the house and so saying they started closing the windows of the house and tried to show her away however this youngest daughter in law that is the seventh son's wife recognized the goddess and fell at her feet and she said that mother goddess has come to visit us and she told her mother in law that this is the goddess whose vrat i have been doing and that that is why i have been blessed with happiness and joy now mother in law as well as the sister in laws realized their mistake they asked for forgiveness from the goddess the goddess agreed to forgive them provided that they mend their ways and do not harm this daughter in law and thereafter anyone who listens to this story and does the vrat of santoshi mata for 16 fridays their problems will be destroyed happiness will come in their life is what the goddess promised so if in your horoscope there are malefic planets in the fourth house from the ascendant or in the sign of cancer or if venus is afflicted by malefic planets then definitely this is one thing you must try to do for 16 fridays that is said to resolve a lot of problems and take your life back towards happiness so friends if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button for any queries please write to us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe